Who is St. Patrick and why do we have an entire holiday to celebrate him? There has got to be more to this day than green milkshakes, parties, and leprechauns. And trust me, there is. Patrick is born in 385 AD as a Roman British citizen. That is what we call today Great Britain. At age 16, Patrick was kidnapped by Irish rovers who came to raid the North Shores of Wales. The raiders came to his home, killed the servants, and took Patrick captive along with a thousand others. Patrick was held as a slave for six years and spent most of his days as a sheep and pig herder. During his time as a slave, Patrick became a Christian. One night he had a vision that God wanted him to escape, and so he did. At age 40, Patrick returned to Ireland as a missionary of the Christian faith. But instead of being angry or hating the Irish, Patrick's faith in Jesus inspired him to love the people who are once his enemies. Patrick was originally turned down to go as a missionary because he was not seen as qualified. But his impact was huge. Eventually, he helped convert 120,000 Druids to the Christian faith. He planted over 300 churches. Druid chieftains tried to kill him at least a dozen times. During his ministry, he also spoke out against slavery. Patrick died in 461 AD. Patrick was made a saint of the Roman Catholic Church in 664 AD. Now today, St. Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th. The day is both a religious feast and the anniversary of his death in 461 AD. The Irish have observed this day as a religious holiday for over a thousand years. Now hundreds of years after Patrick died in 1846, Ireland hit hard times and the people began starving in what is called the Great Potato Famine. The Irish began to immigrate to New York and Boston by the thousands, seeking a better life. And within 10 years, the Irish population went from 2% to 20%. But not everybody was happy to see the Irish. There was a strong backlash against the Irish, and they were mocked by some people in political cartoons. The images we see today of leprechauns with the pug nose and the scruffy beard and the old clothing are remnants of those early cartoons used to mock the Irish. The first St. Patrick's Day parade took place in New York City in 1762 as a form of showing political power and pride in their Irish heritage. They even turned those old symbols of hate into symbols of new found pride. So this year, when you celebrate St. Patrick's Day, there are some questions you can think about and discuss with your family. How did God use Patrick's childhood experience as a slave to change Ireland for the better? What was life like for the Irish who were forced to leave their homes and immigrate to America? Was everybody happy to welcome them to the United States? How did the Irish turn a symbol of hate used to mock them into a symbol of ethnic pride? What lessons can we learn from Patrick about overcoming bullies or hateful people in our own lives? What lessons can you learn from the early Irish immigrants and how they responded to the political hate speech of their day? Knowing that faith in Jesus helped Patrick change a nation, how might you trust in Jesus to change your own life?